strongest nickname. James the unbreakable heavy hitter Warfield. Yeah, we asked War Warfield about how he's going to handle the tournament format if he was to move on. And he said he used to fight five, six times every night growing <laughs> up in the street. And it's not like being jumped in the parking lot, he said. Right, it was At least nothing you know new what to you're him. getting here. And he's wearing, he starts out right away aggressively. Oh, Warfield. A little bit of a and low blow And it was a low there. blow, and you could see right away Baker grabbing his groin area. And Warfield continued to fight, but the referee jumped in there nicely. Yeah, you got to stay on your opponent until the Shane referee Garrett. breaks it. Okay. And they'll give him the time he needs. And this, this is tough. Right at the beginning of the fight, the first blow essentially. Drops down, throws that left oh, kick. Jeez. I could feel close. that. It kind of looks like it caromed off his cup there. But, but you saw him. He, he wasn't even covering up, and it, and it could have been a potentially dangerous situation there. Right, right. They're going to give him the time he needs. He looks to be all right, so... Not, not a way you want to start the first round. Again, these are two rounds, five-minute rounds, and if we have a tie at the end of those two rounds, we'll have a three-minute sudden death overtime. It's called the shine overtime round. Okay, back to work. And Warfield obviously having the prettiest skirt of all the fighters in the tournament <laughs> tonight. Both looking to kick early. Both guys promise to come out aggressive. And both land kicks. If anything, Kyle Baker said that in the past, he's almost been too aggressive. And he wants to be aggressive, but a controlled aggression tonight. Not, not go out wildly swinging and undisciplined. So. So far, so good. He's tightening up, but he's coming forward, walking Warfield down. Warfield moving well. Ooh, missed spinning back kick there, but both these fighters are known for their striking. For oh, a left hand land by Warfield. It was right on the button. Both trade kicks. Warfield looks Wild down. Wild move by Warfield. He tried, he tried to get Baker to drop those hands, looking like he was going to kick low, and then he jumped into that flying knee. A little unorthodox, but if nothing else, staying with that aggressive approach that he promised to come out. Gets Baker's attention quick, doesn't it? Most definitely. You notice he clinched right away. He wants to try a, a little bit of a different strategy probably for now. Working that body. That looked like a little bit of a low blow landed by Baker with the right hand. The stomps, very smart idea too if you want to wear someone down here in these fights. And it'll be interesting how these things come to play because for the first time we're doing three fights in one night, possibly for these guys. So how much damage do the little things do? The foot stomps, the knees to the legs. He's grabbing that left wrist, trying to do some work and then throwing some punches to the body. He got a couple in there. Good uppercut. Yeah, looking to control that clinch. He had the left underhook, and he was controlling the wrist, and the ref breaks him. Another low blow. And the low blow again by Warfield. And this is the second time in the fight that Baker gets a timeout. Warfield said, come on, I, I didn't do that, but you can't fake that. If, if you get it, you're hurting. Definitely not the luckiest man tonight with, with two low blows, but... They'll give him the required time that he needs. <clears throat> yep, there it was again. Same spot as the last. We get a second look here, controlling that inside tie. You're gonna fire off that knee. Oh! You still think it's borderline, Bo? Below the belt line. It's it's on the upper part of the cup, but that that was you know a direct hit. Yeah, I don't think a warrior like Baker is going to fake that in any way not at all and and he's not even taking as much time as as one could expect he's looking like he's ready to go right. here back get going. back at it ready? Ready? Right. so our referee Shane Garrett says let's go and Warfield fires across the ring and missed with that foot he, he lost his balance Baker just unable to capitalize and keep him down his flying kicks are, are exciting but he's got to watch it he could miss badly and end up on his head. 
Right, he's doing big things, but not necessarily that effective for him. Yet. And finally, Baker, and a right hand, it was like an overhead right, not textbook, but it did the job. Swinging for the fences, these guys. Warfield landing, then Warfield gets the leg caught. Some blood over the left eye right now of Baker. And a right hand by Warfield. Right on that cut and, and a big takedown. Take by Warfield. Right here, Baker is looking to, uh, almost to be in a switch position. He's underhooking the, the hamstring with his right arm. And the referee's going to move him to the center. Time out. Oh, he's he going to check the blood. the doctor to look at him. See how bad that cut looks. He's going to come to a neutral corner. You can see it. It's right on the left eyebrow, right in the corner. First of all, it can be problematic because it can go into the eye and hurt your vision. And how does that affect you if you do win? Let's take a look at this cut, see if we can get a look, but uh, it's bleeding pretty good. I can't quite see from our vantage point how big, how deep. It's in a spot that is very susceptible to, to be getting uh, slammed again. That's another thing. Right, it's that corner of the eye. It's on his left eye. Warfield, right-handed, is going to be, he's going to be aiming for that thing. So Warfield waits as Baker gets attended to, tries to get that cut cleaned up a little bit. All right, let's take a look at what we think. Punch the left hook landed there, and that big overhand right, kind of a right hook. Yeah, the right hand, it, it opened up immediately. And then the blood just starts pouring out, and then a knee on the same spot. Warfield connected there about three times. Now, the problem is the location. Now, if Warfield goes right after that cut, it's going to start again. And the other thing is in a tournament situation, when you think about advancing, hard to advance with a big cut like that through two more fights. Let's see. Right. And is it, is it going to affect um, Baker's style? Excuse me. Is he going to be more aggressive because he wants to try to Why finish? Why not? Or is he going to be less because he wants to protect that cut? Both these guys are pretty aggressive fighters, so... Another for them to come right after it. spinning back kick there. Warfield throwing out the bag of tricks of what you just don't see every day. And from most mixed martial arts fighters, the look away overhand right. It, it's a wild right hand he's throwing, but it's been effective. Now he switched to southpaw for a second. Seconds to go in the round. Throws a kick caught by Warfield. Baker able to get his foot out. And he answers with some uppercuts. It was a good short uppercut by Warfield as well. Just missed on that right hand. Both these guys are looking to put the, the other fighter to sleep. A rapidity of right hands landed by Baker. That cut looks to be bleeding again. Warfield. Getting those underhooks, but Baker showing no signs of letting that, that cut affect him. He jumps That's to it. team. That's it for round no one. Time. And, and Warfield was wild in that round, but he was exciting. He was effective in spots. Very much so, very much so. And even if he's not landing those craziness, that's keeping Baker off guard. That's keeping Baker's changing his distance, changing his tactics. And let's say he does five crazy things. So far, one or two of them have landed. And he's got the cut that he's got now opened up on the left. Here we go. Again, looking down, kicking, throwing the knee, I'm sorry. But Baker showing no signs of letting that affect him. He's just coming right after him. The big right hand coming forward. Throws a, a jumping front kick. And I thought the kick went actually over the head of Baker, which means if you get caught up there, again, you could get yourself in big trouble. Right, that's that risk where if he wants to keep it standing, he could have ended up on bottom there. Baker just not able to capitalize, but some some pretty risky stuff. Not the, not necessarily the smartest moves. He, he's leaving himself vulnerable to certain things, possibly getting hit again, possibly getting taken down. And Baker needs to score some points at some point here. Is Warfield going to give it to him, or is Baker going to come out and take charge here? You know, Warfield said yesterday, it's my coming out party. I want the piece of cake. 
putting on a heck of a show. You see the bloody left eye area of Baker. It's along the eyebrow. He did a good job of stopping it. Stopping the flow of blood during that first round. Let's see how it holds up. And Warfield said that in the past, in his losses, his problem was cardio and that he's with a great camp of guys. Some members of the Marine Corps, big right hand. And that right hand got to the cut too. Those trunks started green and white. They're now red, green, and white for Baker. Warfield surging ahead with a combination. Come on, guys, fight for action. Baker, the brawler, coming off a TKO victory by a knee in his last fight in October of 2009. Solid kick by Baker to the midsection of Warfield. And is that lack of experience? Oh, oh tumbling out of the gym, out, out of the ring, over the top rope. And I think he got hurt. Warfield being looked at immediately. Landed on that table, just a few inches down from the apron. But what did he connect with? He seems to be holding his ribs, grimacing in pain. And this ring has been problematic thus far. Warfield. Yeah, and they tightened up. He commanded the, the fight. He doesn't want to blow it by getting wild. Now he goes back to his corner. They're going to give him some time as well, similar to being cut or getting a low blow. Okay, I here we say. go. Flying over the ropes with that missed flying knee. And Baker they got a hit. up the leg. He got nailed, nailed with a right hand from Baker as he came over the top of the fifth rope. And I, took a hard fall. I don't see what exactly he he hurts there. Obviously his ribs. Kind of unclear there, but he's okay. He says he's all right. He can go on. Certainly they were, not they were checking the abdominal area, checking, I guess you would say, the lower ribs. There's that mitigated risk of these high-flying crazy antics. This time it, he jumped over the top rope. And that's why if you're Baker, you hang in there somehow if you can with the with the bloody eyelid. Definitely a warrior, both these guys, but he's doing these crazy things. And what happened was Baker just picked up that leg and Warfield comes tumbling out of the top rope. Just craziness. 